Another solution, if none of these solutions fit, could be a processing agreement. There are reciprocal processing agreements that you may strike with another business that is similar enough to yours that you say, you help us and we'll help you. Now, the idea behind a reciprocal processing agreement is you're betting on the fact that a disaster is not going to take out both companies. Assuming that a disaster affects one company and not the other, let's assume that you have IBM RS6000s running AIX, and you have another company across town or perhaps in a nearby town that runs the same basic type of hardware. You can develop a reciprocal processing agreement with the other company saying that if we crash, how about if we bring our data, drop it on your AIX boxes, and we'll use some of your capacity for a while till we can recover, and vice versa. If you have a problem, you come on over, drop your software on our machine and your data, and we'll make sure we have a little bit of extra capacity that we can service your needs. Another example would be a mutual processing agreement, working together. Now, this is a case similar to a reciprocal agreement, but working together allows the sharing of data, the sharing perhaps of even software and licensing to occur before the disaster. So you already have a presence on each other's machines so that should a disaster occur, the cutover is even faster. One major caveat, these type of agreements depend on the parties having the ability to fulfill the terms. What this means is, as I mentioned earlier, if a disaster takes out both businesses, it could affect the compliance for these agreements. If the business that you're planning to use partial capacity of is down, it doesn't help you much at all. Likewise, what happens if the companion business has grown to the point that they just don't have any more flexibility and they cannot absorb the extra strain that you're going to put on their system? These are questions you have to address. They can be sticky legal issues, but you need to address them up front. It's really all part of the DRP. Remember, the DRP is a bunch of what-ifs. What if this happens? How am I going to handle it? And this is just another question that you need to answer.